Hi there, Emily Gibbons, and I am here to talk about some digital tools that you may want to use with your students um, when you are reinforcing or teaching morphology or to build morphological awareness. The tools that I am about to mention are ones that have a specific purpose. Okay, they are tools to support you and support your students. They are either tools that can be used to help you introduce a new concept, a new morpheme, some history. And they're also meant to help engage your students and provide some much needed practice. So you can use them at various points in the lesson. However, some of the tools will be more, um, I would say, um, helpful during certain portions of the lesson rather than maybe at the very beginning or the very end or something like that. Okay, so let's talk about these. Before I get into them, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for the Literacy Nest. So many videos, and all, including a lot of morphology videos in there. So um, definitely check those out, and thank you for subscribing. Okay, tool number one. So these are all do digital tools, by the way. So ones that are either online, right, or ones you can use in an app, things like that. So the first one is edimonline.com. Now this is going to be sort of like your backbone to find the history, the etymology behind the reason why words are spelled. Now this is a tool I check a lot. It's not only helpful for teachers, really helpful for teachers, but also to help you build up your, really your deeper understanding of the written English language. And so you can have students go on there with you. However, you will have to sort of guide them. So I would say that this is a website that if you were to use with students, you would use them with maybe your older students. Okay. Perhaps I would say at a minimum grades, maybe three or four and up. Okay, the next tool that I recommend is the Mini Matrix Maker. Now, if you're wondering, oh, what, what is this all about? This is a free tool that has been developed and it's been, on, it's been online for quite some time now where you can create your word matrices. Now, this is a tool that I highly recommend incorporating into your morphology lesson. I do have another YouTube video on um, what does a sample morphology lesson look like, so you will want to check that out. But you can make these word matrices on there and you can print them out and you can have students practice making word sums or building words using the bases and their affixes and writing them down. Okay, and this is really to help students recognize the um, relationships between words in there so we can build related words to this one ba um, base like uh, mankind or unkind or humankind or un, we would say like kindest or kindly, things like that. So you can make a big list of words on there. But this, um, when you go on Mini Matrix Maker, what it will do is it will guide you through the steps. So it's going to have you put in the base and you can put in the definition if you want. And then you can put in and make a list of your words that you want students to create. Um, it will take a little bit of playing around with at first if you're new to it. And so try that out and let me know how it goes. Definitely let me know if you have any questions. The next tool is membean.com. Particularly, you want to go to the word roots section. And the reason why is because this is a very in-depth explanation of our morphemes and within each of the word roots you can click on a particular um, root there will be what's called a root cast instead of a podcast it's a root cast and that is a chance to listen to an explanation of the words now for our students that really benefit from listening and following along. This is an 
excellent tool that you'll want to incorporate. But anytime you want to just use it to enhance the study of morphemes in there, definitely go and check out Membean and go to the word roots section. It's free. Okay, the next two are ones from the Literacy Nest. So they're ones uh, that are either brand new or in development at the time of this video. So the first one I have are these TLN Google Slide games. So these are uh, presented as like hunt style games that you can play in Google Slides and they have animations. So students complete the questions and are able to advance to the next point in the hunt to be able to catch like one of them is an insect. So you have to catch all the bugs on the track of the game. So these are really, really great for reinforcement, independent practice, even something that you can have students do at home. You can share, you can have a share link to send out to them and they can um, play it on a tablet or something like that. These are also great if you want to use them whole class and have students um, call up one at a time to answer the question and follow along if you want to do it that way. And then the other one, finally, is these are P uh, TLN Boom decks. So if you aren't familiar, Boom Learning is um, a website that houses digital task cards. And the task cards have um, may have animations, they may have audio, um, they may have uh, photographs with them, but they really help to reinforce learning. And also another tool that you can use with your students as reinforcement, review, um, independent practice, something like that. So what I've started to create are some boom decks that are based on one particular morpheme at a time. So you may see a boom deck, for instance, on suffix L-Y. And so since they're digital task cards, there are about 20 to 25 different tasks that students go through and complete. They're self-checking, but you can also get a report of their performance on your Boom Learning account as a teacher. They're also really inexpensive. At the time of the video, I have a bunch on there for suffixes, but there will be a bunch coming for prefixes, also Latin roots, and then Greek forms. So you just want to sort of keep an eye out because I'm putting up at the time of this video, sometime around three or four new boom decks a week. So they're a little gamified. Uh, students really love them. They're also great for older students because you can practice some keyboarding skills in there, which is great for them. Okay, so these are the five digital morphology tools that you will definitely want to check out. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or, or if you would add to this list. And I will see you next time. Thanks, of course, for subscribing.